Hi, this is Scott with 4D Tech. Today we will be working on a 2017 Ford Explorer that came Sync 3 equipped but did not have navigation. We will be adding navigation using the 4D Tech Sync 3 navigation upgrade kit. To perform this upgrade, we'll need a few basic tools Phillips and flathead screwdriver, 7mm nut driver. and plastic dash removal tools. First we'll need to remove these plastic pieces of trim on each side of the bezel in order to gain access to the screws. We'll take one of our dash removal tools and we want to start at each end at the thinner points and work our way to the widest part of the trim. We can begin to release it by putting some pressure on the bottom here to get our panel tool underneath. And once you have the clips begin to release, you can work your way up. The reason why we want to start at the bottom and work our way up to the widest part is because being that this part is thin, you don't want to get the wide part to release and break it down here. Once we made it to that point, now we will release the top clips. And there will be a plastic push pin is the last clip holding it and you'll have to work the piece of dash off of there. Sometimes this push pin will get left behind in the opening. You'll just want to use your dash tool, pry it out, and slip it back in on the dash piece. Now we'll do the other side as well. Once you got that bottom clip released, same thing, you'll work your way up. Now there will be four 7mm screws to remove the bezel around the screen. Now that those four screws are out, we just need to pull the whole plastic bezel forward. Putting our fingers underneath the side here. And then it's clipped in at the top as well. Once it's released, we'll swing it around. There will be one gray connector right here. The tab is on the back side of it near the edge, and you'll push in the tab right there and unplug the connector. Remember any connectors that you've unplugged so you can reconnect them during the reassembly process. We'll put our dash panel out of the way. And then now there are four seven millimeter screws to be removed to get the screen out. With the four screws out, we'll pull the screen forward, turn it, and there will be three connectors that need to be disconnected. First, we'll start with the GPS antenna connector. That has a small tab on the bottom side here that you'll push. And then the easiest way to get it off is to put a small flat head underneath the connector to start it. Second is the USB connector, push in the tab on the top and unplug it. The last connector is the main 54 pin connector. 
This has a gray lever with a little retention clip that holds the gray lever. Push in the clip, pull the lever towards you, that will release the connector. Pull the lever all the way towards you and take the connector out. To perform the upgrade, we need to replace the APIM on the back of the screen with the navigation equipped one from 4D Tech. The best way to replace this APIM is to use the foam out of your packaging on a flat surface and set it down to perform that function. For the sake of this video, I'm going to put a cloth in this opening and turn the screen around so you can see what I'm doing. First we need to disconnect the blue screen connector and push that out of the way. Next we remove the three Phillips screws holding the APIM to the back of the screen. With the APIM off, we'll replace it with the APIM from 4D Tech that's navigation equipped. You'll align it with the screw holes the same way as the other one came off and replace the three Phillips screws. With the three Phillips screws replaced, simply plug the screen cable back in. You want to make sure it fully clips in. Now we just need to put the screen back in and the vehicle back together, reverse of how we took it apart. First we'll take this main connector, that is the most crucial. We want to make sure that is fully seated in the back of the APIM or else you'll have connection issues and the unit may not function properly. You'll take that connector, push it in, and push it till the gray lever starts to move on its own, and then swing the gray lever the rest of the way into the locked position. You'll see that this tab will be up against the connector in the back of the APIM to let you know it's fully seated. We'll reconnect the USB cable to the black connector on the back of the brain. The light gray connector is unused. Then we'll take our GPS antenna, clip facing down, and reconnect that to the antenna connection. Once again, be sure that all your connectors fully seat down in order to function properly. With the screen back in place, we'll replace the four screws that we took out earlier. Now that the screw screen is mounted, we'll replace the dash panel. We'll want to make sure we reconnect the connector that we unplugged earlier. So with the tab facing that way, plug it back into the gray connector until it clicks. There's a small opening here where the connector sits. You want to make sure the wire slides back in that opening so it doesn't get stuck behind the dash panel and get wedged. Now we realign the dash panel and just snap it all back on. With it snapped back on, we'll replace the four screws we took out earlier.
then last we'll replace the trim cover pieces on each side of the bezel. Make sure to realign the clips. And re-snap it into place. You'll see that we now have the navigation icon on the screen and maps as well. We also have retained all the features that came on the vehicle originally, including the on-screen climate controls. Thank you for checking out our video. This has been the 4D Tech Sync 3 navigation upgrade on the 2017 Explorer.